Hello, it's Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to go over some hardware compatibility type uh, questions and topics about what types of devices can you use with Finale Inventory's mobile barcode scanning application. Our mobile barcoding scan, uh, scanner application is available both on the Android OS platform from the Google Play Store. It's also uh, available for legacy type barcode scanning devices running Windows Mobile OS. So I'll give you an example of these two types of devices. Let's first go over the preferred types of devices. The preferred types of devices is going to be a Android dedicated scanner. So what I have here is a symbol Motorola. This is a let's see, this is a TC55. So that's the model uh, Tom Charlie 55. So I'm going to turn this on so you can kind of see this. This is just an Android um, based dedicated scanner. You can see that it looks like a normal Android device. So, and it also has, note, the Google Play Store. So the Google Play Store is kind of key on this type of device. It's running uh, a normal Android OS for which you can ac have access to the Google Play Store. Download the app, Finale Inventory app, directly to the device. So you can see how the Finale Inventory device is running here. I can uh, launch it. This is the built, um, the Finale data collector or what we call our mobile app. You sync it with the uh, your cloud application and uh, that's how we uh, communicate with your Finale Inventory account. Now these types of devices have a built-in scanner. It's, it's right here on the top so or the face of it. So you can activate the scanner. I'll uh, turn the scanner on so you can kind of see it illuminate down here. And that's how you scan barcodes is the built-in scanner. This is the most preferred type of device. So these are very rugged, very tough. Um, they're extremely fast. These are also very affordable. Um, you can get them available just about anywhere. We do have a preferred hardware vendor. You can check our website um, for those. But this would be uh, a symbol Motorola TC55, um, one of the most economical and best bang for the buck units. Another type of device, uh, very similar to it, you can see these are uh, extremely um, same, very similar in size. This one here is a symbol uh, MC40. So uh, this one, um, kind of what makes this one a little different than the other one, they look very similar, they're both running Android. This one, however, is running Google Enterprise, so it doesn't have the Play Store. So one, a device like this, very similar to this one, um, similar feature, similar performance, this one here doesn't have the Play Store, so you, you can't download games and stuff directly. You have to install uh, Android apps on here, okay? So that's uh, one, dis one major advantage. This one also has a laser here at the top, so if I need to activate this, I can see, you can see how I can scan with it. Um, I don't need to buy anything else with this type of device. Um, runs the uh, Finale inventory application uh, quite nicely, and you can see it there. So another f interesting feature about this T, uh, MC40, it uh, allows you to maybe augment this scanner. And what we mean by augmented, this one uh, also is available as a wearable. So you can use this type of device. You can put this on your arm, okay, so where you would wear it so you can be hands-free. And this goes into the cradle here and allows you to uh, operate this unit hands-free. So it would go here on your forearm and then what you do is so that you can operate this hands-free you uh, buy a Bluetooth um, scanner. Now this scanner would connect to this device over Bluetooth and there's a big yellow button here and you can see how it will scan um, just by the press of your button. So this one goes on your hand like this. So you would put this on your fingers and you can reach here with your thumb and you can shoot things and you still have your hands free. So if this was on your forearm, this is in your uh, other hand so you're still able to grab things and you can still shoot the barcode. These are extremely um, robust. These are meant for warehouse and industrial applications. They're extremely tough. Um, these are a lot um, uh, quicker and faster than using a cell phone. Okay, so this see, this is a, another type of device. So those um, you can connect this as a Bluetooth device tethered to this, um, give you hands free. Another option for you that we've talked about 
Um, you of course, we said, hey, it is Android. I've got just a, an Android cell phone here. So let me wake up this phone. Yes, you can download this from uh, to your uh, Android phone. So here's just a an Android phone that I've downloaded the um, barcode scanning app to, and you can see how it interacts. You can um, it works the same way as the as the scanners. Biggest disadvantage of this, okay? So if I said you know if there's any disadvantage, and that is there's no scanner with this. So in order to scan, you must use um, the camera built in. Now if you've ever tried to scan barcodes, um, it can be kind of challenging. So you have to like hover it over and get it exact. This is very time consuming and this is why maybe we would tell you yes you can run you can run the app on a phone. Uh, it will work just fine but you'll have a challenge with scanning barcodes. It's just much slower. Now there are some solutions for that. So some other things you may consider. If you really want to run with a phone, you can also look for these types of Bluetooth, what we call finger scanners. Now this finger scanner can be tethered to this um, to this uh, cell phone. So this is a Bluetooth scanner. It's got a laser that shoots out the top. As I press this button on the sides, it's shooting out a laser. So if I have a barcode here, now I can use my finger uh, and shoot this barcode and you can see how it fills out the screen. So if you note here, if I was to um, operate this, we'll go into more details, but you can see it, that it decodes that barcode right on the screen. So if I hit done here, you can see that that's another option for you. So you'd have to buy two devices. Well, you wouldn't have to buy your cell phone, but you can run it on an Android phone. It will not run on iOS. Um, it must be an Android phone. So, and you can then you can get um, a Bluetooth tethered uh, scanner and put the two together. Then you might have a good scanning solution or an acceptable scanning solution. Um, similar to running an Android cell phone, you have the, and the Android dedicated scanners, an Android cell phone. Um, can you do it with a tablet? Well, sure, you sure can. It's the same as, um, as a cell phone, so just a much bigger screen. So we get um, these, uh, you can see that this is just a uh, an Android tablet. This is a, a Fire tablet, I believe, and it works the same way. You'll have the same challenges here, though. Remember, when you're using de devices like these that are just a tablet or a phone, you don't have a laser scanner, so you are going to be challenged in scanning. Yes, the app supports it, um, so um, but it, you'll just find it much more cumbersome. So um, for it to be able to scan a barcode, it's just a lot more clunky and difficult and much slower than using uh, a, a, a scanner. So we'd highly recommend that if you go this route, you're going to need to get you a um, some sort of Bluetooth tethered scanner that you can link the two together and operate it much faster. It's going to be much more advisable to go that direction. All right, so that's yet another option for you. So if you don't go the Android route, then you may consider uh, maybe you have legacy hardware, some existing scanners like these. These are um, warehouse um, rugged uh, industry standard um, inventory management scanners. These are running Windows Mobile OS. So let's see if I can wake these. Uh, guys up and you can see them kind of wake up here they've got touch screens and they've got keyboards on the end these are very durable they have a, a stylus built in so if you wanted to see this is kind of running um, an, an older version of windows here so as you can see i can go back out to the windows uh, operating system so this is windows versus android all right so that's kind of the difference this is a windows os and uh, our application is available to be put on these and run. As you can see, um, I'm invoking it there and it runs the same way. These have a scanner built into the top. So to scan a, a barcode, you simply press the yellow buttons on the side. This is a, basically a very similar model, just running a different version of the, of the Windows OS. So this is a Windows uh, 6.5. OS and you can see that we have our app loaded here. You just touch the screen and you can launch the app. And this too has a laser at the top. So this one shoots out a laser here at the top. So that's your Windows Mobile OS legacy hardware. It is, our app is compatible, it is designed to run on these, 
the preferred is the Android type operating system. So that gives you a, a quick summary of what you might consider in terms of what type of hardware to use uh, from a, um, a mobile perspective.